Hey, what's up? I'm here with Meg Turney. We're here at uh, RTX 2017. I don't know why I looked over there. I know what year it is. <laughs> Do you? We're so Do far you? into it already. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I'm actually a time traveler. That's, that's it. It's oh, the British you... accent and the telephone box. I right? like that that's how you got outed. It was uh, RTX <laughs> what 2017. <laughs> what year is it? Um, so it's been a while since you have been on the Rooster Teeth Network yeah. in terms of a full-time role. It's been a year, um, almost exactly a year. Has it really? Yeah. I'm so old. It's a time year again. like three days ago. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So what's happened since then? Because I know that like people will have followed you along, but there are some people out there that, that have seen Rooster Teeth and kind of, you kind of just disappeared and that was it. <sighs> Um, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> I've uh, I've just been doing cosplay. I traveled a ton late last year, um, so 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 much, and did anime conventions. I have a Patreon where I do all sorts of exclusive shoots, and um, it's been really really fun. It's been such a huge change of pace, um, but it's been really really rewarding and really really fun. So how's life living with Gavin? I feel like I feel like oh, it's, it's, you've got a child already. Oh you know? no! The, the thing is, I think people ask a lot. I get asked in panels and things. People, what's the stupidest thing Gavin does at home? And they expect that he's this character at home, but he's really just a normal dude. So it's wonderful. He's he's a great person to live with. I think my favorite thing Gavin's done in your house is uh, narrate your your makeup routine. <laughs> oh, my favorite! I just that was nice. That was just fun. Like, and she's doing something now with yeah. uh, oh, and, and the something. eyebrow, <laughs> yeah, the eyebrow gloss or whatever. <laughs> um, my favorite thing Gavin has ever done in our house. We play pranks at each other, but not not overt pranks, but. Um, he wants, so he doesn't like decorating for holidays, and I do. I'm like the quintessential, like if I could have ha lights all over the house for Christmas, I would. Um, and so I decorated the inside of our house, which is for Halloween, which was had never happened before. And Gavin came in and took all my decorations down and hid them from me <laughs> and said he had thrown them away. And I like, freaked out. I was like, how could you do this? And he was like, oh my God, I would never do that. I have all of them right here. I was like, <laughs> gonna go like look in the garbage can for my decorations. I was like so personally offended. I can confirm that's a very British thing. It, we, 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 we it just, is. We just don't they like They hate things. happiness. They hate joy. It's, they don't like conversation Disgusting. or politeness. Wait, no, hang on. We're very polite. You're not polite at We're all. We're super polite. You're the rudest of the rude. We, so rude. We just we just, we just have a politeness that we're being extremely rude and offensive, but it looks like we're being nice. You have you know? a put like to you, the thing that's very interesting is I never thought dating a British person would be such a huge cultural divide. We speak the same language, but we might as well not speak the same language. Um, anything that we consider polite, you consider like rudely over the top, and your minimalist style we consider like you think is polite, we think is like horribly rude. It's just like nonstop. Can can confirm. I once went, I, went, I went around a while saying things like. Thanks. And I was like, I, I don't get it. Or like tar. Oh, tar is another one. Is a tar is good one. Yes. Tar. Just yeah. Like, Excuse I, me? Gavin, when we first started dating, called the place and was like, what time do you close? And just like hung on the phone when they told him. And I was like, you didn't say hi, just calling to figure out what time you guys close. He was like, I don't need any of those words. I need what time do you close? <laughs> Thanks. And then like hang up. That's it. Like, It's very minimalist. It is. It's very minimalist. It's very minimalist. <laughs> So earlier I was talking to Ryan Hayward. Yes. He was he was sat here. He was a very lovely gentleman. And I, I, I just want to ask you the same question I asked him. Does it really fucking annoy you? And are you very over it when everyone keeps assuming that you and Ryan are having some sort of uh, affair? Uh, Is it yes. very dull? It's, I mean, it's been done at this point. It's also, um, I feel like it's horribly insulting to the people that we're with. And, and to us as well, just because I think that people, like, if I were sleeping with someone, I'd I'd not be in a show with that person and be like he's so cute. I'd be like a tiny iota smarter than that and like like really you think that I'd just be like he'll never figure it out. Like oh, Gavin will never know. You know what I mean? Right. So it's just very it's, and a lot of times Gavin will say things like if you people know we're dating, right? Like they know I'm it, you know there's no, okay, no it's fine. It's like it's insulting all the way around. Um, so yeah, I, we got a lot of that especially when we went to Japan. A lot of people were like, "Oh, they're going to Japan." It's like you don't need to bang in a foreign country if you're trying to bang someone. Like who spends all that money to go away to be like, "Right. Yeah, right. Hey, now we have the chance." <laughs> 
<laughs> wife and kids, Ryan Hayward, yes. decided that, you know what I would love to do? Just have an illicit affair on the other side of the world. Yeah, I just want to go all the way to Japan to do that. Like, come on now. Did you actually stay in a love hotel? I can't remember. We didn't. You no, didn't. did not. Not together, that. obviously. I meant in separate. <laughs> no, but I'm... Yeah. I, do you know what I'm... Well, you know what was shit, really funny? I'm, I'm, I'm just pouring gas onto the fire at this point. Do you know what was really funny when I was booking all of the rooms? Gavin, because I guess it's sort of a British thing as well, is like, there's not a jealous bone in his body. And so he, I was like booking all the rooms and I was telling him how expensive it was. And he was like, why did you get everyone their own room? Like, why didn't you guys just get like a big hotel room? You all sleep in it together. And I'm like, no, like everyone gets their own. That's not, no. There are some things we don't need to see. <laughs> yeah. you, you and Ryan, at various different times coming out of the shower with a towel on. Yeah. No one needs and to see that. we had a photographer with us, our friend Martin Wong, who also did the thing where he's like, people know I'm here too, right? No? <laughs> like, oh, they're off in Japan. And like, Martin's like, I'm here. I'm here too, guys. <laughs> no? I was like, cool, cool. Amazing. Yeah. Now, your, your Patreon um, has got very popular since you left for his tea. Yeah. How is it being sort of funded through Patreon? How do you, how does that kind of, do you ever, do you ever panic from paycheck to paycheck or are you kind of pretty, pretty sturdy and stable now? Um, I, I actually, I, I, the, when I was approached by Patreon, they approached me while I was at Rooster Teeth um, and said, we'd really like to do a, a campaign with you. Here's some ways that other people run their campaigns. What do you think? And I really wasn't into the idea of Patreon, but when Jessica Negri launched hers, I loved the way she framed hers as, it's a fan club. I mean, she's giving people something back for their money. It's not, guys, please, I can't make this costume if you don't fund my Patreon. It's, hey, I'm making content for you. This is a place where you can come and get exclusive content. If you don't want that exclusive content, that's okay. I'm still going to release a ton of free right, content as right. well. And that was really what sold me on Patreon. I just thought it was such a genius way to handle it and such a really cool platform to connect with your fans in that way. So um, it's been really, really cool. I feel more beholden to fans than I did before, obviously, but <laughs> but in a great way because they get to shape my content. Right. Where it's it's almost like kind of out of my hands at this point. Like you guys tell me what you want and I'll do it, and then I don't have to think about it. It's kind of nice because it takes the choice out. Yeah, yeah. But so I was really inspired by that, and I think I've continued to to sort of just do what she does. <laughs> it's funny you should mention that because we, we had we had Jess in here a while ago, and uh, I asked the same question because. Being online, it's obviously like the you know uh, filth center of the entire <laughs> galaxy yeah. at this point. Do you, do you do you receive a lot of pressure from fans that ask you to be nude in your photos? I receive a lot of pressure from fans to be nude in my photos um, who don't support the Patreon. Right. The people who support the Patreon are the sweetest, kindest. They're, and they're always like, they get it, right? Yeah, and they're always like, "You do something, you want to do it, great. If not, no big deal. Like nobody's here to tell you. Like you said last year, you might do it. Like you said this, you said that. It's never that. It's always." It's always Reddit. Like it's always Reddit. That's like you said last Reddit's week. Reddit's so friendly. I've never, and I've never heard Reddit ever go after <laughs> people on the about internet. Reddit to me is like I joined Reddit like six years ago, and I'm like, I want you guys, and then I'm like, no, you hate me. Okay, sorry, sorry, no, I'm sorry. I'll go back into my cave. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh man. What's the what's the most offensive thing anyone's ever said to you? Can do you have like one in your brain? Like, because I feel like everyone always has that one, that one comment. I don't think I have like a one, uh, any serious threat is obviously the not worst ideal. thing. <laughs> not not the best, like, not no. the best. So I did have nice. someone uh, be creative in that they sent me, uh-oh. Oh. They sent the light, they turned the light off. They're listening. Do you want to turn it back on for oh, it's all right, it'll be oh, fine. Right. We'll just color correct it afterwards. It's all right. I'll just boost that brightness right up. It's cool. That's okay. Um, <laughs> they sent me a message on Reddit where the subject line was like, um, just a little, it was like something like a little support if you need it right now or something's really sweet in the title and then the whole message was like, you're a cunt, you should be killed. Oh and like, God. it was like this vitriol in the message but they had like baited me in with this awesome subject line. I totally fell for it, so Shit. thanks dude. Oh, no, well, I feel bad because now everyone's <laughs> gonna be like, hey, you wanna fuck with Meg Tony? <laughs> yeah, send her Tell the nine. most wonderful person on Reddit. You suck. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I feel, I feel like we just, we just opened the floodgates at this point. Um, where do you think you're going to be sort of going in the next year, in the next sort of five years? Do you think that you'll, you'll stay on Patreon? Do you think you'll, you'll move somewhere else? Are you going to go into streaming? So I stream already on Twitch, um, and I have my YouTube channel, and I have Patreon, obviously. I, I've been juggling a lot of balls for a very long time. They fall from time to time, and I pick them back up. Um, I'd like to find a better balance, um, and I've been working toward that, which has been really nice. I'm hoping in the next year to five years, I think I'll still be on Patreon, but um, I'd like to do more large-scale stuff. 
also like on location shoots. We did the thing to we went to Japan. That was all for Patreon and um, and for the YouTube channel. So I just like to do more stuff like that. I think more experiences that I can get while I'm young and, and don't have like a family to like oh I gotta get the kids to come with. So I asked that to Gavin earlier. I was like when you, if if because I didn't want to make it weird <laughs> if you decide to have some sort of child. Uh, will he be getting the slow motion camera out to capture it just vomiting that waterfall vomit oh. in uh, 20,000 frames a second um we don't we almost never use the slow-mo camera like unless it's a slow-mo guy shoot so. I don't know I heard John Reisinger with a spicy rumor earlier oh I had a very a spicy, spicy rumor. rumor tell me spicy this. spicy cum shot rumor that oh. may or may not have been okay, but confirmed not, by Gavin but not any not any of us it was bequeathed unto Gavin this spicy oh see that, yeah. that's the full the full yeah, picture the if you've been story. watching the entire playlist of Rooster Teeth content at this point the narrative has gone from yeah. This morning of, I should film someone doing a cum shot. To Gavin has a cum shot yeah. on his phone. To now, yes, but it's not his. He was given. Yeah, it, it was oh, wonderful. It was, yeah, it was bequeathed unto yeah. him. Oh, what a time to be alive! <laughs> oh, I'm glad. I'm glad we've cleared yeah. that. Yeah, up. Yeah, I'm glad everybody knows. Do you get? Because I, I know that you do do fan mail uh, sessions. Have you yeah. been sent anything particularly <laughs> weird? Um, I don't think so. People again, like I think the people who are like the meanest or who would do the weirdest stuff, stay online. Like, I get weird emails. I get very strange emails. Um, but I've never been sent anything in the mail that I was like, oh, all right then. You see, I don't understand that, because, like, iDubs, and even, like, fuck, even Miley Yiannopoulos, like, get sent, like, sperm in boxes and, like, yeah. needles and stuff. I mean, like, don't open that floodgate, but, but I hopefully feel like, you don't. Like, I feel like you would expect it. Like, here's a box of used tissues. Congrats. I get, again, I, I think it's, like, a digital thing. Like, sometimes I get, like, like, um, oh God, what is it called? Um, oh, uh, cum, cum tributes? Sperm tributes? Something like that? What's yes, it where you print off cum the picture. Yep. Jess is back there, she knows what's up. <laughs> so they print a picture and then they just yeah, like a picture. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that they get to send me a photo of that sometimes. Well, that, that but is. I never get received the actual paper. I am a big fan of, of men. What, what a shining <laughs> fucking bastion we are. I feel like now that what we've you, had this conversation, <laughs> I'm going to open everything with like six pairs of gloves on because someone now is like, well, right. I have to be the first. Right. Have you ever gotten a cum bear before? <laughs> no. Is, they do the in the bear? Oh, We're but the for bear those, dude For those who it. can't hear this, Jessica Nagiri has just leant over and asked, have you got a cum bear? And then explained that it's when a man puts a penis inside a bear and ejaculates. Just just for those in the, in the back of the room. room who you couldn't know? get that. I feel like that wouldn't feel nice. It would feel like... like, it, like you're itchy. just hitting a bunch of fluff, yeah. It's scratchy, even. I don't know, love yourself. You know what, get a nice... <laughs> Hitachi, something going on. I don't think Hitachi's work on that. I don't think that's Tengas, a, I don't think that's how whatever works. you Fleshlight, need. Fleshlight, I think, is the, is the big... Tenga makes eggs for dudes. Up, I just was watching the, ja the Japanese sex shop video that I we did. I cannot wait until Meg the... Tony releases her own sex toy range in 2018. <laughs> no, 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 Here's no. some eggs up your butthole, guys. No, it's like for around it. You've never seen this? Look up no, Tenga, Ed, after. Oddly enough, It's though. a sock that you like just jerk off into. It's like a silicone sock, and it has different textures on the inside. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just, you spray I don't want lube that. in it and then you just go to town. You spray I've never I've or never like sprayed lube in my pour life. Pour lube into it. That's I don't know. <laughs> this is derailed so fucking well. Well, I'm just telling you no, what I you like can do. Is, I'm a huge fan. Tango also makes flashlights that you can fuck. Look, it, Tango's like big in Japan, so I just saw all of their all their new stuff. Stunning. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I missed out in Japan. I got um we went to this huge sex shop and I bought a Tango vibrator there. And I like I Martin and I were looking at all the different of course Martin was there helping me. All the different <laughs> ones. We're watching like video. Yeah, this is a this is something you'll have in your head forever. We're watching all the videos that go with it of the ladies using the different ones. We've like come to a consensus. this looks like the best one. Let's get this one. So I like check out, I like pay all my money and get my stuff. And then as soon as I'm walking out, they have the exact same vibrator, but in a limited edition color, like special for Japan. And I was like, did you take it back and swap no! it? No! Why? I just was You've like... made all the effort of going to the fucking store on the other side of the world. I just know, swap it. but I just was like, it's not, I can't believe it's not meant to be. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get out here with my illicit brown bag purchase. Oh my god. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. You're for welcome. Such an insightful <laughs> interview. None I, of I this can forward, make it. I look, oh, it's all gonna fucking okay, make it. It's okay. gonna, it's gonna open up a sordid floodgate of semen, <laughs> in which you will just be barraged with dick pictures for the rest just of your please life. Please don't. Please don't. There's, just, I, I just want to say, I've never once opened a dick pic and been like, all right. It's always oh my god, been like. I was gonna oh, say, like, I just, oh. I, I feel like I was talking. To Hunter McGregor. Not once. 
Not once that I've been, it's always like a cold water being slapped in my face. I'm always like, oh. Like, even if it's like a, like an impressive dick, it's so surprising that I'm like, oh, come on now. Never. Send tit pics. Jess, Jess Nagiri is asking if women have a moment of admiration <laughs> about penis pictures. I, I spoke to I Hunter will, McGrady. But boob envy is real, and so send me your tit pictures for sure if you're above 18, because that is... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Jess is taking one now. Starting the trend. Oh That's the God. trend I want to start, just uh, elicit, like unsolicited tit pics. I was speaking to Hunter McGrady, and I, and I genuinely came up with the idea of... I think we should get like maybe you, Jess, and Hunter McGrady at different times to just to just have a TV here, and we'll just go through your DMs, <laughs> and we'll just look at the dick pics, and we All can sit here and be like, and be like can, how how do you feel about this? Yeah. How would you rate this one? And and what is what about this mighty dragon and yes. this small acorn? And also, I got some of this. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Actually, people send you they either send you like crazy dicks, like they found on the internet, like this really weird dick, or it's like. <laughs> Clearly, they are actual. Like they're trying to be like, all right, like oh you know God. you like it. And it's like, no. Do you think that's ever worked? Do you think, guys, do you think the girls ever open up a picture and gone, well, that's the man for me? I don't think once in this world that no. has ever happened. Oh my mm -mm. goodness. Never. Meg Tony, it's been, it's been an education. <laughs> it's been a real education. Much. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful RTX, maybe yes. full of cum bears and dick pics. Yes. Um, we had a nice bubble together, you and I. Yeah. <laughs> it was this nice grey bubble has now yeah. been just just disseminated. Yeah.